Hi everyone, it's Gwen from Dis Family Ventures. Um, I just wanted to pop on real quick and just update you on what's going on with our move to Orlando. Um, today is July 19th, by the way. It's cameraman Brennan's birthday. Happy birthday to Brennan. Um, this weekend, starting on the 16th, our house went live, went on the market, and the way they, I guess they do it now is they have, you make appointments for showings not like an open house but we had quite a few over the course of the weekend and our realtor is probably going to be showing up in like 10 minutes to go over the offers that we received so this is real now it's scary um so i just wanted to, to go through take a look at the house and show you what our house looks like this is our living room that goes down to our den there which you can see the wall with the Disney pins which we did leave up for the showings Richie was nervous so he was gonna steal our pins but we did take pictures but we were okay um, this um, is old furniture that is not going with us we were yeah, it does. It just doesn't go in this room now because of our paint color. But we knew we were eventually going to um, change it out in this because obviously this piece doesn't go. And there's the birthday boy drinking his coffee. We have our birth off this week, so from work. Okay, so this is. A, well, I see her dining room. I don't know how I'm doing. It's very good. That's the kitchen. We kind of this house is a three bedroom, one and a half bath. It really would be a one bath, but this room had an addition on it, so it has a half bath. Kitchen is was all updated. Kind of gonna miss it because we finally had updated our house just. Years four ago. years ago actually I mean, hadn't even been in it yet four years ago there's the cake I'm in the process I still have to decorate it for Brendan I don't know how I'm doing on this camera job I'm like backing up for what I'm seeing in the viewfinder and then this is our um, dining room this is actually furniture is getting passed on to my niece because I want to keep it in the family it was my great aunt's and Again, it kind of wasn't going with our color scheme anymore, but um, so we were going to phase it out. But it also is hard to give away, give it away because, I mean, I want to keep something from my family, but I'm afraid to move it. And we're trying to move cheaply, and that's not because we're going to have to move this, which I don't know how good... The lighting is in here. Can you turn on the lights? I don't know. Come. Oh, our realtor's here. We'll pause. Okay, so I'm resuming now. This is um our family room. This set back here. Get the whole room. This is where we hang out. And this was the room that we had our fire in that was completely redone. That's our fireplace. I'm gonna miss that. I'm honestly gonna miss the whole house, but oh sorry, I'm wobbling. I'm walking backwards. That's just um, our half bath. And then the door to our backyard. Sorry. Mm. 
All right, so we'll go back through our living room. We'll go upstairs. So we have three bedrooms. And this is our bathroom. Looks gray on here. I want to be in this. Just the bathroom. But again, it was all recently updated. And Brenna did both our bathroom and our kitchen himself. We had help of our brother in law with the cabinets. I guess I'll do this one first. And some electrical work with another brother and plumbing with a nephew but mm, he did all the demolition so this is our the master bath the master bath <laughs> yeah why not a master bath our master bedroom king size bed oh, our fan in here let's take that out. tv up on the wall And then this was Lauren's old room. Her furniture, but that's a new bed. Okay, that's that. And this is Richie's room. with this Thomas bed now we'll go back down try not make you sick and then this is where we film and we did take some stuff, like I used to have my um, Mickey's main attraction all the way up on the top there. Pins, but um, not Mickey's, Minnie's. Gosh, I can't think today. Minnie's main attraction pins were up there, but I took a few things down. But yeah, I think we've shown our collections. We have Polynesian, DBC, Coco, Rapunzel, Cinderella. Moana. I don't remember what was there. <laughs> there was something there. There was postcards and uh, magic bands. Oh, uh, the magic band. Just extra pins that aren't fitting on my board right now. Tinkerbell. Snow White. Tinkerbell box. My Tiki Room, Orange Bird, Jungle Cruise, Adventureland stuff, pins, diamond painting, my barefoot collection, or flip flops, my mini, another diamond painting. And then over here we have Dumbo, Thumper, and just our bookshelves. Pretty 
Princess Diana Funko. Martin gave me that. Brennan's scary thing. Snow White. Oh. Didn't you get that from the Japan Pavilion? Yeah. Some Maracos from Mexico. Richie's poop emoji. That's a bank. I'm surprised he wasn't flipping up about that being out for the uh, showings. There's Jack. Captain Jack Sparrow is now not on our nightstand anymore. We did find his hat because wasn't his hat in this one? Yeah. Right under the bed. A couple years. There's some more Queen mini. So yeah, that's that. And then we have some, these are like my Mickey and Minnie together board with some miscellaneous stuff, I guess. Some pins that I think at the bottom here are scrappers. And then the artwork that I had gotten in Three Little Tinkers when they used to do the mystery boxes, because I don't think they do the mystery boxes anymore. And then these are just some pins that I traded for or just parts that, of pins I like but aren't in my collection or Brendan's shield. Wait, you bought that? Nah, you bought that. You were <laughs> like, oh. And then Lauren made me this one year. Um, you can't really see because the words are in pink glittery but it says I love you to the Big Dipper and beyond because that's what me and Richie used to say. I guess we still say but I guess not as much I love you picture. Brendan's done with this flag. Brenner, I guess you really don't need to see that but um We'll go out here. I don't really want to show our laundry room because our laundry room is yucky. Looks much better than what I used to. So quick walk through. So then this is um, it was just a you know, uh, yucky uh, screen and porch years ago, but Brennan enclosed it and. I don't know. It's really hard. Uh, what I'm seeing is hard because of the. What do you even put? What do you call that? Like bamboo on yeah, the. Yeah, bamboo fencing. On the ceiling, so it really makes it. You know my vibe, my tiki vibe. But we have um these portholes port from us. Us they were sal salvaged from a sunken ship, and then you them. Um, it was on this ship that collided with that ship in the Delaware Dang. Bay in 1915. Yeah, and here's the new new uh, New York Times article describing the collision. I didn't even think about that. Right. With moving. I know that's going to have to stay. Yeah. I know. When I got that, I bought that off of, uh, he was a salvage lawyer, so he was a certified scuba diver. That, uh, Is he the one who told you to go to that place in the Key yeah, West that you went to? Yeah, Mel, Mel Fisher. Fisher's, yeah. So, yeah, he took down a lot that was on these walls before we did the showing. There's my palm tree that Tracy sent me from California. It's not real, but I love it. It lights up and that's going with us because I can't take my other palm trees but that one's going so um yeah back here on this wall I think you might have shown some of that before I don't think I ever posted any uh, I used to, that's where I displayed that's, all my pins that's where Brunham displayed all the pins and again he has more portholes over here but they're just they're just from a freighter and the reason why they're cracked is because the freighter sunk and the pressure of it sinking cracked the glass. 
Wow, I use them as windows. And I like this how and stuff. Ship's bell. There's some hanging hammocks. But um I don't know, we really get in the bar in here, but Brennan made this bar all from hand. See, and that's when I, I kind of go through the house like this. This is what, um... Yeah, it sounds like you're really appreciating everything. I did <laughs> now. I might not have done it before. But like, she has a load off. on the refrigerator because the refrigerator stopped working. Um, so for the showing, we had to put on that. But like he even made a cutting board. Like, from total scratch. We're taking the chairs. Yeah. Hanging chairs. So, yeah, I was just going to get some nice, comfy, like, outdoor porch furniture here but we never did we just have these tractor chairs unfortunately we didn't we never really <laughs> hang out here as much as i did you guys didn't once you stop smoking yeah i used to smoke and i used when i didn't smoke in the house in the winter um i would smoke down here on the porch you go up. all right so now we're going out the door on the side. This is the side deck. This is where I do all my grilling. He used to have a gas grill that I bought him, but he doesn't like it. And it Charcoal all away. the way. So yeah, I'm wearing my banana trees and palms that hibiscus that I'll have to be leaving behind. I even have a lilac tree that I had taken from a piece of it from my great aunt's house. Well, right here, and that's that. I'm gonna. I don't know if I don't think lilacs grow, and uh, but I'll have to give a piece to my sister. Okay, but I have some. Um, these are hardy hibiscus, so they come back every year here. There's a Sharon. My Sega Palms up there. That's just part of that. That's another rose of Sharon that's up there. So we'll go back in. Now we'll go out this door. Oh, before we go out there, I don't know if I showed up here. I'm not. I feel like I'm showing stuff and I'm not. Um, that's a mermaid. Her name's Gwen. Oh, and there's a cobweb up there. I missed that. All right. So then this is out this door. What? So this is out of the other door on the other side. There's the yeah, wind chimes. So a lot of wind chimes. So then we're gonna go up these steps. Yeah, our air conditioner for some reason had to be put on our Dark and it's loud sometimes when you sit up here. But I got all my palms. And this um, outdoor furniture of the chairs and stuff is kind of old. So we'll see how we have a bar up here. And usually I have plants on both of these. The clematis that no, it's not clematis. It's mandevils that I get up and intertwine and all these. But 
didn't buy any this year because they knew we were moving. Some of them, this one is one we've kept, but it, when you winterize them, they take forever to bloom, we've noticed. So we usually buy new ones of those and a couple of hibiscus, but again, we didn't buy them. So I showed you this earlier. This is our fire pit area and we will be taking this with us. We'll be getting a new table and chairs because that's all rusted out. And there's more hardy hibiscus by the pool. We have them on both sides with our sand. If you can see the shells. Um, I, this is one of the palms I really wanted to take, but it's not going to happen unless I can find somebody to hold them for me that I could eventually, but I, you're not really supposed to take plants. Oh, it's hard for the sun to tell them what I'm focusing on. There's my, this hibiscus tree I've had for quite a few years. Most of these plants I've had for a long time, especially like all these bananas. And we got one banana plant and they always grow off springs and then we just plant them. So we have tons. Never got bananas. Um, gave me the banana tree. He, he, he did get bananas on his. But yeah, there's my pink hibiscus. This thing, when I first got this one, it was so full and tons of blooms it was so pretty but it usually takes a while like I said and then over here we have my Sega palms which I'm very upset about leaving because we've had these for years and they were tiny and they have grown and I really wanted to take these but I mean, if we would have gone in a moving van, a moving truck, I think I would have, would have, but, um, we're getting a pod, so <clears throat> that's not going to happen. But look at that. Look at that massive. And I'm just afraid because whoever, if I give it to somebody, they might not. They have to, everything has to be winterized. So, that concludes our tour. And I just, while, while I had started the tour, I don't know if this will get cut out, but um, the realtor had knocked on the door and we had our offers and we did the paperwork, so we technically sold our house and we cried because we've been here for 26 years or almost we wouldn't make, quite make it to that point because we moved in December but um, yeah what an emotional moment it was alright so we'll keep you updated thanks for watching